Morning, welcome to the next podcast of Andy Collier Talk of Cricket Memorabilia. And happy Easter to you all. I hope there's not too much chocolate flying about for you, putting those pounds on. Anyway, just going to go into some bits that uh, turned up last week and uh, some Alex Stewart's I've seen it was his birthday yesterday, so uh, looking forward to uh, showing those. So anyway, start off with, as we probably know, uh, Matthew Thompson over there in Bendigo, near Bendigo, he's been pushing hard for the Harry Boyle Oval, Woodvale. And he's actually got it renamed the Harry Boyle Oval, so he produced some cards for the occasion. And they've duly turned up. And we've got um, some, well, they're original uh, watercolours by Peter Bassick of uh, Harry Boyle and different bits and pieces. He's the right arm medium pace bowler. Um, these are number two of uh, two of 50, so very few cards. So if you want to get some of these, you better be quick because they're going quickly. Um, if you get onto the uh, uh, Facebook page, uh, Spirit of Cricket Collecting, we can go do a bit more for you. So that's the uh, right arm medium bowler. And there we've got here, and this has got, uh, he's bowling again there. Um, so it's got some details on the back there of whatever it is, so plenty of information there. This one is silly mid on, he sort of, uh, he sort of first perfected the silly mid on fielding in the early tours to, to England. And the last one is uh, Woodfowl Recreation Reserve there. Got a little picture of WG Grace in the bottom there as well, so it's, they're cracking postcards. And only 50 of them made, so a set of four, 50. So um, good luck to uh, Matthew Thompson there, who's trying to get Harry Boyle um, indice, inducted rather into the uh, Cricket Hall's fame. And he's not doing too bad with that either. So touch wood, he'll be able to do that. And he also came along with a nice limited edition key ring, Gray Nichols key ring, which is 010. I think there's 75 of those, I think. But again, they're going quite quickly. So if you want to get hold of that, be quick so anyway things that turned up this week we have a lovely signed photograph here studio photograph of cw charles w charles william burles who played for surrey 1873 to 1880 he also played for uh, wg grace's 11 obviously playing against them his first match against uh, gloucestershire at the oval he scored uh, 16 and 11 in the second innings. He was uh, bold or caught uh, EM Grace and bold GF Grace. So quite a string to his bow there. He died in 1923. And on the back there, he's got a, a January the 4th, 1922. So it's, it's uh, obviously an older photograph, but just nice to get. And I think it's got CMB written across there as well so he was obviously signed the back of it and dated the photograph which was taken by Gibson and Sons, Penzance and the City Isles. He died in Peckham Rye so he also had something to do down there in uh, City Isles, perhaps he moved down there. A little bit more search required. Uh, and then another lovely thing that turned up was this nice W.G. Grace Belden photograph here off of the negative. Um, taken at the Crystal Palace ground, got his London County cricket cap on there. Uh, very nice photograph, D. Well pleased with that. And um, I've just, if any of you have got this uh, this nice book here by Brian Pierce, it's called Cricket at the Crystal Palace. Took him quite a few years to to do, and it was launched on the uh, rebirth of the London County Cricket Club. Um, uh, Burns is doing it, the old Essex player is doing that. And on this, on page 46, there's a photograph here of the Crystal Palace area. And there's the ground there. And you can see that white fence that's behind WG Grace. See the white fence there behind WG. And there is the fence just at the back there. So that's where they were taken, probably 1905, something like that, I think, like most of them. Belden pictures, so quite a nice little book to have there. So move on to Alex Stewart, whose birthday was yesterday, and I was at the ground watching an old Test match, 
um, and he got his 200s, 100 and, 118, 143. There's a lovely little mini back there, signed by Alex Stewart. Uh, Kookaburra, it's got on there, Alex Stewart, 118 and 143 Barbados Test 1994 and signed by Alec there that's quite a nice one but the real thing is here so there's the real thing that's Alec Stewart's bat that he used at the Barbados over 1994 to get those two glorious hundreds now unfortunately it's got two holes in there where that was screwed to a presentation um, board when I bought it but um we're pleased to have that from Alec. And I got Alec to sign it last year there. I went up to the Oval. So I got him to sign it, which was quite nice. And then we got the signed stump as well. On that match. Signed by all the players. I've also got a Jack Russell print that he done of that. Because he was keeping wicket at the time. I remember Alex Stewart fielding down the fine leg. Uh, not far from where I'll stand. So that's a nice uh, stump there. From that series from that match should i say and also that came with that is the his mcc badge which is detached that came with the presentation and also being there i've got all the tickets there each day of the test match um which i've got alec to sign at a dinner probably about 19, 1996 or something when he was up at the uh, cricket friends uh, so all nice different colours each day there, all signed by Alec. So, that's about it for this week, I hope you've enjoyed that, and uh, I'll see you on the next one. Cheers!